Hi, I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jax. And this is Mondays with Magpie. And today we are going to start a three episode series of Dinner for Your Honey for Valentine's Day. Yeah. I guess because my husband's gone, <laughs> I, I know. get two portions. <laughs> yeah, it's just more. But what we're going to do is I'm, we're going to show you three vegetable choices, and then the next episode is going to be three protein choices, and then the last three dessert choices. And then you can just mix and match any way you like. Yes, yeah, that's so, good. Yeah, I know. That's like I a know. good idea. I mean, yeah. Pick what you like and That's throw it. away the rest. Yeah, <laughs> and pick what you don't like. They're the kind that you get at the grocery with the greens on them, Jacks. The organic carrots. Jack bought me this for Christmas. These, these, this little gizmo, and it's, it's, it sort of works. It's kind really of like a gift for myself right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's we're really gonna, great, actually. We're gonna Easy. chop all the carrots. This is not an infomercial, so, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna take a large skillet, half a cup of water, two tablespoons of butter. I'll turn it on. So we can cook. And I just asked Maggie, um, should we have peeled the carrots? But she said that she scrubbed them. Yeah, so I scrubbed them. I guess if you leave the skins on, it probably leaves more flavor. It, well, and more nutrients too, because you lose a lot of the vitamins when you uh, um, when you when you peel. All right. So a bit of dirt never hurt anyone. It, my mother said you have. Hey, to Valentine's Day before you die. So Valentine's Day, you want to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and then it said uh, a teaspoon of minced ginger. Well, instead of minced ginger, I buy this stuff. In a little tube because ginger it's you buy a whole bunch of it and then you don't know what to do with it and it goes bad and so anyway about a teaspoon of ginger and it's it, they say it's mint so there we are if you are going to get the regular ginger use the back of your knife to peel yeah, it a friend yeah. of mine taught me that yeah. or a spoon a spoon works as well and We're then just, two yeah. tablespoons of honey okay Jax um I'll get it okay all right, I'm just gonna guess two tablespoons of honey. If you want it sweeter, that's one. If you make little blobs, you kind of figure it out. There we go. Two tablespoons of honey. Now we're gonna bring that to a boil. And when that comes to a boil, we're gonna add the carrots. Okay, Jax, the very, carrots. very carefully add the carrots. All right, and then we're gonna cover them. And we'll let them cook for, uh, for five minutes, covered. All right, so they're, they're kind of, they're gonna steam, the covers of their honey. So uh, yeah, now they're gonna steam. I forgot to put salt in with the, uh, the carrots. So we're gonna add two teaspoons of salt now. So if you forget this, go back and do it because otherwise I'll be awful. All right, Jack, mix it around a little bit. Okay, now lid off, we're gonna cook them for another, until all the, um, until all the liquid is gone. And then, uh, then we're going to add orange juice and orange zest and Bob's your uncle. You're done, son. Oh, good old Uncle Bob. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to stir them around until all the liquid is gone. <laughs> okay, now, when the pan is fairly dry, it's time to add orange juice. You're going to keep on stirring because you want the carrots to glaze. Now, they have a pretty nice glaze on them already. This is going to add flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Orange, you glad? <laughs> yeah, I am. My favorite I am. Yeah. <laughs> Orange, you. <laughs> so how long does this um, just until it until goes away? until they are uh, until it's all gone and the glaze lasts? And we're gonna put in a teaspoon of uh, zest. So I'm just gonna. All right, that looks to me to be about just eyeball it. That looks about like a. There we go. Okay, it's vegetables. In the orange juice for about five minutes on a low simmer, and Jacqueline Smells has been stirring good. them constantly, well not constantly, but every now and then when <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can get her back in the kitchen. <laughs> and, uh, and now they're glazed. The carrots are all glazed. See how nice and shiny that they are? They're just, I'm going to hold it up. Okay, ready? Cinematography. Aren't they beautiful? Yum, yum. That's a shot of cheese. Okay. So that's that. That's glazed honey, orange glazed carrots. All right, here we go. 
It's very hot, but really good. Mm. Mm. It's great because it has like a tart, sweet, yeah. and a tiny mm. bit of that salt that we put in there. It's very, very nice. So now we're tipping and tailing the um, the green beans. <laughs> I've never heard that and, before. Tip and, and tail. Tip and tail. It sounds like a, um, something you went like a Chippendale thing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Tip and no. tail. <laughs> tip, and, tip and tail. And we're leaving them long. You can uh, sometimes they're called haricot vert, which are uh, it's just the French word for green beans. So um, there you go. And they're thin and they're nice. So we're gonna. Tip and tail all of these. Tip and tail. Tip and tip and tail. Tip so we can tail. get a little risque. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, well, yeah. What else is it really about? Absolutely. <laughs> so. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna steam. If you watch the codfish episode, you know the award-winning codfish episode. Yes, with our guest chef. Joseph. Yes, with our guest chef six Joseph. Old. So easy, <laughs> a six-year-old could make it. Yeah. Well, this is so easy, a uh, six-year-old can make this too. So you can also. Um, I have one and a half cups of chicken stock, and it goes, and then turn on the fire, and throw in the green beans. So far, right. so good. We'll throw in a little bit of salt. If you're because, vegetarian, you could probably use vegetable stock, right? Yeah, yeah, this was chicken stock, but or chicken stock. Just occurs to me this episode is very yeah. vegan friendly so far, except for yeah. chicken. One hopes this is a teaspoon. All right. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is uh, we'll just mix this in after the salt gets. I don't have any salt in the uh, in the stock, so we added salt to the beans. And Maggie actually made her stock. I bought some chicken wings. You can do the same thing. Chicken wings. Put them in a big pot with some water, uh, carrots, onions, celery, a few peppercorns. Cheap Let it too, go. There was just 88 cents a pound. Yeah, and, and you can make a whole sale. big pot of stock and then you pour it into some containers, freeze it, and you've got stock whenever you want it. And you don't have to buy the silly little boxes that you don't even know what's in them. All right, so now we're going to leave this for, remember, six minutes and then they will be done. Now, uh, while that happens, we are going to make herbed butter. Herbs. <laughs> we, have, we have thyme. And lots and have, lots of time. Six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and we have chives because I think that would be that would be really really nice, like a little a little onion flavor. How much? Do you All right. Well, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get the leaves off. Okay. Uh, probably about a tablespoon altogether. All right. And then we're gonna chop it all up just to make sure and just strip it. No, well, not really. You have to kind of pick the leaves. This is a naughty episode. Yes. I know. Tip and tail. Oh, stripping, stripping. <laughs> Where will it end? <laughs> and I have some parsley, so we're going to put some parsley in it. So it's thyme. I guess, would I put some rosemary? I think yeah. Rose Always. Yeah, rosemary. rosemary. Always put rosemary. Rosemary is All right, so here's rosemary. Best of the herbs. Yes. <laughs> the, yeah, I think it is. I think that's wonderful. I love rosemary. And we are going to mince all of the things. Mince is just a fancy word for chop them all up. All right, we're gonna chop, chop, chop. We're gonna mince herbs. Yep, not words. Because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> now we have um, a quarter pound of butter, one stick, unsalted or salted. You know, they say unsalted, but if you don't have it, use salted. So right, we have all right. Someone smaller. No, that's good. Soft butter, herbs of your choice, and then ready, Jacks. Throw them in, and then you're gonna mix, 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 mix. You're gonna use it. I'm gonna get a. Yeah, uh, oh, it's a heart. A towel because that's a little hot. But um, all right. Apparently so, this thing over here is called a spider. This, yeah, <laughs> never heard of that. Spider, it's called a spider. Oh, it looks like a spider web. web. Okay. Yeah, who knows? All right, now, the, um, the broth that we cooked it in is just gonna, you know, be thrown in the pan. We're not, we're not gonna use that. But we are gonna- Probably reuse it for something. Yeah, we're gonna take out the, uh, the green beans. I guess if you wanted to, you could just throw this all in the colander. It'd probably be a lot easier. 
But, you know, I don't do things the easy way. I do things <laughs> the complicated way. I had to do it yeah. the hard way. <laughs> you know, that old Betty Hutton song. <laughs> oh, so now, you have your green beans for you and your honey. And we're going to put a glob of... Um, yeah, that can make it to a heart. No, I'm just kidding. All right, put the glob, glob yeah. Put the whole it, thing? No, just a, just a, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to have the heart attack. Is that okay? Or yeah, too much? That, I think that would be fine. Wah. All right, let it melt down. And vegetable numero two. two. That's super easy. So we have our herb butter on a piece of parchment, fold it over, use a knife or a, a, something straight and make a little roll, roll it up, mm. close the ends, put it in the fridge, and next time you want herb butter, just cut yourself a few slices. Can that freeze if you think it'll be oh, a while? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, that's what we'll do. We'll put it in the freezer, and next time you need it, there you'll have it. Cool. A nice little tip for Valentine's Day. Jacqueline has already started by uh, peeling the uh, just a green zucchini, and uh, and then she's going to start slicing. Start slicing, do you? Yeah. Yeah. See, she's making noodles. Just making noodles, just like that. Out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so and then this is if you don't have a spiral or thing, which yeah, I don't. Yeah, if you have a spiralizer, it's really nice to make noodles, but everyone doesn't have a spiralizer. In Not which to mention that, like, who has a room in their kitchen right. besides you? Yeah, now stop stuff. before you get to the seeds, oh. or, or when you get to the seeds, stop. Oh, and uh, we're going to do part. two, one for you, one for your oh, honey. Yes. All right, Jack. All right, here she goes, Madam Zucchini. <laughs> it's a good alias. <laughs> Madam Zucchini. <laughs> you see Madam. Madam Z. Madam Z. <laughs> Now everyone's going to know my password. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting the onion ready because it's a little plain just all by itself. It needs a little flavor. So we're going to put an onion in and I'm just going to cut the onion in half and then make lovely, lovely thin slices. So. All right, now Jacqueline, you have done a beautiful job making Why, linguine you. out of zucchini. Finally found my specialty. I know, I know. Everyone <laughs> has a special talent. All right, I have, uh, this is a hot pan. Hot pan, cold oil, food won't stick. Now be careful when you throw the onions in. I have thinly sliced one Vidalia onion thrown in. Just be careful, because it's going to go mm -hmm. Vidalia is one that's kind of sweet, right? Have yeah, sweet. I like Vidalia. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the kind of that we It's great on the grill. Yeah. And then I just kind of... Now we're just going to cook these for a couple seconds because the, uh, the zucchini is going to go in no time at all. It's going to be done. Onions will take about five minutes to soften. We're going to throw in the zucchini wind with a little bit more oil. And um, and I have a feeling we're going to put some more rosemary in them or some chive. What do you think, Jack? Rosemary. Rosemary. We're going to put rosemary in and it just kind of zings them up a little bit. And then you have vegetables already for dinner with your honey. So we've been stirring these onions around and leaving the pan for about five minutes. I'm going to add a little more oil. We're going to throw in the uh, linguine and uh, see what happens. And right at the very end, we're going to throw in some chopped rosemary. Uh, you can put in whatever you like. We have to like. Your... Yeah, rosemary has a little pepper to it. It's really, it makes it a little nice and zingy. Yeah. So what we're going to do is toss these around for like maybe five minutes until they're uh, heated through. Here you go, Jax. I'm going to sprinkle on the stuff. This is the rosemary. And, uh, and there we are. Then we have vegetable number three. So Jax was saying that she likes vegetables so much that she would pick two of them for her dinner with her honey. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I'll just eat a whole big plate. I was vegan for a long time. I think that's why it was able to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just love vegetables. They but I was thinking it would, be, it would be nice. When we do, um, for the meat section, tomorrow when you come back, I'll tell you a little bit about it. When you come back for the next episode on the meat, we are going to do uh, a salmon. Mm. A salmon fillet, a portion of salmon. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do 
chicken two ways, and we are like chicken fillet two ways, and then we're gonna do braised short ribs. And the braised short ribs really would go nicely with like some mashed potatoes. So on that, tomorrow we're gonna make some mashed potatoes. Have those in. One hopes that you can figure out how to make mashed potatoes. If not, we will show you how. There's a lot of different, you know. Yeah, there's theories. lots of different ways you can make them. And uh, we will show you the only right way oh. <laughs> to make a mashed potato. But the braised short rib we're gonna do in a slow cooker. So if you work, you can do it in the morning, come home and you will be all set for dinner. Or you can do it overnight and then take it out in the daytime, come home, warm it up, and there you go again. You're all ready for dinner with your honey. I use pink sea salt because Jacqueline told me to. Yeah, it's good. So that's and what it has now. good minerals in it for you. Yeah. Pink. Probably seashells, I don't know. Here's some pepper. <laughs> Himalayan sea salt. So that was really like There you it's go. From the Himalayas. Himalayan so how sea salt. Be bad? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the Himalayan sea is. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, there's no sea in the Himalayas. Well, uh, where are they getting the sea salt then? <laughs> must be. They must ship it somewhere. The hidden sea of the Himalayas. <laughs> you have to climb really high to see it. <laughs> Now for the big moment, Jack. So yes. big moment. Go for it. Go for it. Well, I am Mrs. Zucchini, aren't I? Is that yeah. what we said? Yes, yes. <laughs> Madam, Madam Zucchini. Madam Zucchini. Yes. Madam Zucchini. You can even twirl it like real zucchini, like real mm -hmm. linguine. Good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Hot. <laughs> it's good if you don't eat it right out of the pan. <laughs> Give it a few minutes to kind of cool off, sizzle. Yeah, that's really good. I could see that on the side of the, mm. the ribs. Mm, mm, mm. Pretty really mm. good. Mm. That was pretty easy. So, one, two, three. Can't go wrong. There we are. Your vegetable choices for dinner with your honey.